The Pistons claim Paul Reed off of waivers. King, your initial thoughts about this news of Paul Reed being claimed off of waivers. B-ball Paul. B-ball Paul. Reunited with Bias again. You can play, man. Here's the thing, though. Again, what does that mean for some of the guys on the roster? Yeah. Because obviously you got Isaiah Stewart still on the roster. Mm Mm-hmm. And you look at how many guys we got that can play the three and four spot. To me, it means somebody is an eye man out. And when you see rumors swirling about Isaiah Stewart possibly being moved, it kind of makes you wonder. Because yeah. obviously he can play the four. You bring him off the bench at the four. Right. But at the end of the day, the guys that got the contracts need to play. And what means to obviously would get some minutes over somebody. Just mm-hmm. for what he's he's being paid, mm-hmm. it's a decision to make at that four spot for the Detroit Pistons. They have to make some decision at that four spot. Somebody right. is not going to play, or they won't potentially be on this roster. Right, something has to happen. Yeah, especially if you're talking Tobias starting at the four too. You know what yeah. I mean? Just kind of creates a log jam pretty quickly. Yeah, which at that I, spot, I really don't like that. But I don't either. As far as Paul Reed, he played with the Sixers before coming here um they call like you said three ball paul he's entering year two of a three-year i think it's 20 24 million dollar deal 24 million dollar deal um and so yeah quick hitters about paul reed um until i do a little bit more research on him he's 25 he's six foot nine 210 pounds um last season he averaged seven points six rebounds and one assist per game and a block per game in 19 minutes which is pretty good a block in 19 minutes is pretty impressive he shot 54% from the field, 72% from the line, and 37% from three, which kind of goes to your point, King, about some moves possibly look, may need to be made to give more clarity to this roster. Um, I do think this is a good depth signing, even if he's a third center or a backup center. I think he's kind of interchangeable. He can kind of be a plug and play guy for you. He's not a great offensive player, but he can get some things done for you. Good defensive player, um, long and rangy. So I like him. I like his game. Um, I also just wanted to comment on some things that were mentioned by James Edwards in his tweets about this Paul Reed signing. So he says, if the Pistons fit Reed into the room exception, he makes $8 million per year and the exception is $8 million per year. I think around 18 to $21 million still will be available um, as far as the cap space after the Pistons made this move. So that's still impressive that we would still have that money after what we just did with Paul Reed picking up that eight million a season. So, and then as far as how many games Paul Reed played last year, because one of the big things we talked about as far as the best ability is availability, and a lot of our guys last season weren't able to play. He played eighty two games last year. So, yeah. like the new additions that we have, you know that's high on Trajan Langdon's list is availability. You know, you got Tim Hardaway Jr. played seventy one and seventy nine. Tobias Harris played 70 and 74. He's the last two seasons. Malik Beasley, 79 and 81. And then Paul Reed, 82 and 69. So these guys are available. That's that's important you know, to have also, these guys available to play, for sure. Also, also got to take that with a grain of salt because two different situations. Sixers were winning. The Pistons were tanking. True. You know, so a pinky nail injury, you have you. <laughs> that's you a know, good point. Yeah, because but uh, looking at him and looking at Stu, right, both 6'9". One is athletic enough to defend certain types of centers in this league. The other one is not. Right. You know, 37% from the field shooting a three. Stu was showing improvement shooting a three, but he's not, he wasn't 37. But then you look at the contracts and how much they're making. How they're right. Making, where you look at the situation and say, okay, we can, uh, we, if we move Stu, obviously we create more cap space. Right. We, we have a player that's left behind that's pretty much staying. Dress up, bless up, step up and get it. Lace up, face up, I'm here to win it. It's for my city, and the team coming with me. Headed for the championship, even if the road is long.